What up boys and welcome back to yet another video. So from a request from you guys, uh, I made this series where I basically do all of the notoriously known fake value farms and we kind of break down the numbers and see what is the uh, the average gold per hour like depending on loot appraiser and which items do I uh, do I stick with? Like, how much do you actually make from doing the fake value? Because you can do an hour of a farm, and according to the market value on your region, you've made like a million gold. But when you break it down, you've only made 50k, 100k, 200k, right? So obviously, every single one of these farms is super RNG based. So I can have one bad hour and one really good, where I get way closer to the market value. But in today's video, we are looking at Saltstone Cave, probably the most farmed open world uh, transmog farm, besides from like Selitus, right? So before we dive into um, the video, I do want to mention that you guys can still grab the 0 to 10 million gold guide. And if you use the code Shadowlands, you will get the book for 50% off. Now, this is an in-depth, step-by-step guide. It's super noob-friendly. It's going to tell you what to do even before you start farming. And then step-by-step -step how you move on towards gold cap. And this book also includes all future updates for retail. So when Dragonflight comes out, uh, I'm not releasing a new book for Dragonflight. I'm just updating this very exact book for Dragonflight. And everyone that's already bought the book gets every single uh, future update for free. So make sure to check it out in the link down below in the description. This uh, Soulstone Cave is um, located right here in Taos and Needles, all the way down east, down here. It's super popular. It's always been super popular. We used to make a steady 200,000 gold an hour from this farm back in the days. It was insane. It was so good because there was very few people doing it. And the items that dropped inside of the cave had a fairly decent sell rate as well. Right now, though, it has tanked. Oh boy, it has tanked. So we're going to take a look at how to farm it. Obviously, the best way to farm it is uh, by having a five-man group. I mean, everything that's available in the open world is best farmed in a group. So if you want to do it efficiently, you get five people into this very small cave. And you have the three people running clockwise and the three people in the opposite direction. So you don't have the case of five people running, running on top of each other, right? That way you will be able to clear the cave way more efficiently. But it's just running in a circle, spam killing these mobs, which of course, hyper spawn. You can see the mobs are already starting to spawn. There's a fancy rare elite over here as well. Uh, but yeah, like you will have constant mobs up. You're killing thousands of mobs an hour doing this farm. It is very simple, very, very popular to do. Um, but it all comes down to the numbers, right? So it, when we did this five people live on my stream, basically uh, number two to number six was in my group. And we got anywhere from 550,000 gold to 400,000 gold. So Half a million gold in market value is relatively normal. And you can see on the top, we got epics such as the uh, the Fiery War Axe. I got Staff of Jordan. And then we got the Green Tower and some other epics that were so, like, too low value to be put on the top five list. But on all, all in all, like half a million gold, really good, right? But is it really good? Let me show you some examples. So these Soulstone Shoulders are currently two. 100 gold in my realm, 12,000 region market value average. I used to sell these for 50,000 gold each, right? That's how insanely much they've gone down in value, even market value. Now, the Saltstone set was like the biggest reason to doing this farm. It was insane back in the days. Right now, looking at the Saltstone chest, market value of 22k, you can get them for less than a thousand gold in my realm. I used to sell this chest back when I played on Sylvanas, I believe it was, for 75,000 gold all day. It was easy, extremely easy. It's the same thing for all of these items. They were so farmed that a lot of collectors have already collected the sets. And basically, there's a higher supply than there is a demand. So the prices are going down. But in terms of items that you should keep, like it doesn't mean that the prices are going to be bad on your realm. So always look up the sets, Saltstone, 
You want to look up the uh, the sets for the Steadfast, very important. You want to look up the Tyrant set because of the sell rate is relatively decent. You also want to look up all of the Ember Silk uh, items, the entire Ember Silk set. Take a look at those. And then you have the Warbringer set, the Bloodforged set, Spark the Sparkle Shell set, a Tistel Fur and Ghost Walker. Those are the sets that I look for when I do this farm. And then you can also uh, look out for these hats. Like the price, there are 25 gold each in my realm, but every single wizard hat pretty much just flies off the auction house. So I always save these. They, they literally, boom, instantly sell. Besides from that, you can also get some world drops. Like I got the Staff of Jordan and I got the Grim Reaper. They're not really that good. But uh, they're worth keeping and posting up on the auction house, definitely. So all in all, if I were to post this on the auction house, I would make uh, 86,000 gold if everything sold for the current value. Heavily, heavily carried by the Epic Staff of Jordan and Grim Reaper. So is it a transport farm that's worth doing? Probably. It's a very good farm to fill up the auction house. However, on in my situation, on my realm... It's not even worth doing. The amount, like the items, the, the items you're actually after, the good ones, aren't even close enough to be at the value they should be in order to, uh, in, like, it doesn't make sense. There's so many other uh, open world farms out there that's similar that you could do on my realm that would be worth it. But it has been one of my best transmog farms of all times, this very exact cave. But hey, that was it for a Soulstone cave. Now I've got a bunch of these videos coming up. So uh, please let me know if you have like a fake value farm in mind that you want me to test out. And you can, of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate that if you want to see more of this content. But that's it for today, though. So don't forget to check out the Zero to 10 Million Gold Guide, and I will see you all back in at tomorrow's video. But until then, bye-bye.